Hey everybody, this is Joe over at Synergy17 and today I'm going to show you how to use the Monogramos font. Someone asked today about a free font on, on defont.com which is uh, monograms but the problem is that you would think I'll make a couple of these. You would think that it would just put the J, the R, the T the way they're supposed to be but it actually doesn't. It gives you every letter option uh, let me go back to it. gives you, you know, each letter, the, the, the first one, the middle one, and the last one, all within each character that you type. So you don't type like JRT all in one circle. You actually get each um, letter. And I'm going to copy this. I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, when it's lowercase. So that's the way it looks when it's lowercase. So this is lowercase, this is uppercase. So you have two different styles. You can either draw your own circle and then plop these bottom ones down in it, or you can use this existing circle here with the letters kind of punched through there. So um, in this example, I'm going to switch to wireframe. And the reason is because what you have to do when you use this font is you have to uh, convert to curves and break it apart. When you break it apart, you're going to lose um, some of the letters that have uh, inside like an O or an A or B or like this R here. So first thing I'm going to do is right click and say convert to curves. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the whole thing and I want to uh, break curve apart. So what's going to happen? Watch the R. See I kind of lost everything. It's really not gone. It's just everything, every piece is broken apart. See. So put that back. So I'm going to do JRT which is my initials here uh, as an example. I don't need this J, I'm going to delete it. I don't need this J, I'm going to delete it. Or if you want to use them for centering, I can go back and then I'm going to take this guy here, this R, since I want the middle one, I'm going to combine. So you can go up here and hit combine. And I can take this guy, this one right here, and I could either physically just move it over or I could try to hit the J and the U, C and line it up and then go and throw away my J. So it's there. Same thing, I take this T, I can go over here to this one. I'm not sure if it's going to line up perfectly or not, but okay, that looks good. Take that J and throw it away. So, and then what you have to do, if I hit go back to um, regular view, you'll see you still can't see it. You need to combine it again. When you combine it, you'll see it. So that's that's uh, one way of doing it. So I'll do it again here. This time I'll just do it by eyeballing it without doing the um, convert to curves, without doing the center, centering it and highlight it all, break it apart. I don't need these guys. I don't need this one. And I don't need this one. And, and I don't need those two. So take that guy. Remember what I said. If you look at it in hands view, you, you can see that I lost the, uh, the center of it. So you got to combine that. And I could take him, slide him over here, take the T and slide it over here. And of course, if I really want to get them uh, spaced evenly, you can go up to arrange and uh, order and align. Oops, sorry, align and distribute and align and distribute this way, and then um, get them evenly spaced. But don't need those guys anymore. And that's about it. It's pretty simple. 